Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you enjoy this video till the very end. Ting Ting, did you know you are the most beautiful scenery that I've seen in this world? Why scenery and not person? People are complicated. Sometimes they want too much and become insincere. I don't like that. When I was younger, I went to Europe for university. One autumn day, I stood under the trees and watched as the leaves fell. It was a mesmerizing sight. I watched as the leaves struggled in the wind. It was curious. Why did it desire to be blown by the wind so badly? Then I read an anthology, where the autumn wind was said to be the wind that came from the past. Say, was the leaf so stubborn because it didn't want to part with the memories of his past? I found those things that existed in nature very beautiful. Then, am I really more beautiful than the fallen leaves in autumn? In my eyes, you're prettier than the combination of the fallen leaves in autumn, the cicadia calls in summer, and the moonlight on a snowy night. Have you held snow in your hands during winter? It'll melt and tickle down from the gaps of your finger. But that doesn't make me feel sad. We're destined to let some beautiful things go out of our lives. I won't feel sad, nor will I feel regret. Because I'm already satisfied with the knowledge that it existed in this world once upon a time. But you're not the same. I can't let you go. I can't let go of you like I once let the melted snow tackle down from my hands. I want you so badly, Ting Ting. So Yan, won't you coddle me some more? I really don't want to settle in a marriage. I'm really scared. My parents, they were terrible. They started fighting amongst themselves after they got married. I'm really terrified. So Yan, let's, let's just date. It's about the same as marriage. Actually, I beg this of you, please. I'm sorry, I wasn't the one who brought up this issue. It was your mother. She wanted me to provide 30 million. 
so that you could save your stepfather's business. I'm not bullying you. You know the same thing. I just can't bear to let you stay in that home. I can't bear to let it happen. I'm sorry. But this is the only thing that I can't help you with. Forgive me. I'll make it up to you my whole life. It's not that I want to say this, boss, but you look terrible. I don't have much money left. At this point, I'm really the farthest thing from a star that was once widely popular. Maybe you and Ning Ning can live with me. Property prices are crazy recently. There's no need for you to buy a new house now. And you help me pay off this house too. You can just live here with me with no worries. If I'm alone, I don't mind where I live, but when Ning Ning's with me too, I want to provide him with the best option there is. This is what I should do. But what's the best option? I don't know. I've always hidden inside the security that Suyan gave me. It was after leaving him that I discovered that the helplessness that I'm facing right now is an inescapable result brought by my stupidity. I like Suyan, but I didn't have the energy to maintain a relationship. I disdained Suyan's money. I was annoyed at how he could control me, but I never planned for myself in the long term. I entered a relationship with Suyang because something went wrong with my stepfather's company. If my stepdad couldn't pay off his debts, he would be bankrupt. Sang Chushia wailed and sobbed at home every day. With that, I went to Suyan. We were still dating then. I merely wanted to borrow some money from him. I thought that I could return the money I owed him in no time with my popularity and skills in acting. However, what waited for me was a strongly worded agreement. I had no other alternative. I couldn't see through him. He's gentle, yes, but he's also domineering.
I had no say in every important decision he made regarding our relationship. Whether it was getting together or breaking up, I had no choice. The agreement to take nothing with me when I left was only a pointless struggle on my part. It was an attempt to preserve my dignity. I decided cruelly that we didn't owe each other anything so that I could feel less of the humiliation that came from being bought. How laughable. The phone's been vibrating for a really long time, boss. Aren't you going to pick it up? Shouting one, you're so arrogant now. You weren't gonna pick up no matter how many times I called, isn't that right? Listen, you must come home tonight or never come back again. Are you going home, boss? Yes, there's definitely a difficult battle waiting for me at home tonight.